Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Scum single player series. So, what are we doing today? Right, previous episode, I showed you guys where to find, or at least showed you Novigrad, and we, we didn't really dive into, you know, the tier 4 and tier 5 walls, so I thought today I'd upgrade my walls, at least the front portion of my walls, to tier 4, which is the brick upgrade. So, what better way to show you guys where to find things in bulk is to show you on this little episode right here. So, where we are right now is an Alpha 3 at the quarries. Now, the quarries produce an item called gravel bags. Gravel bags is part, or the gravel bag, is part of the upgrade process to getting to tier 4 walls. So, what I'm going to be showing you is all the bulk locations to find all these materials. Now, you will find quite a lot of the materials that you're looking for in these key locations. First of all, for quarries. Second, for cement, right, for cement, you need to go to Bravo 1 Factory, and I'll show you why in this episode. And then we're going to Bravo 0, which is where the brick factory is. And as you know, bricks are made in a brick factory. Hey-ho! <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you exactly where to find these items in bulk and then it'll allow you to upgrade your base from level 3, which is the kind of reinforced metal, to tier 4 and hopefully tier 5 in the later stages. So let's get down to the quarry. Let's find ourselves some gravel bags and let's get moving. Let's get upgrading. Not just that, we'll be talking a little bit about the uh, the items that have been teased and released on the Scum and Tomislav's Twitter handles as well. Uh, first of all, can I just say that the, the motorcycle stuff is looking oh so pretty. It's looking oh so pretty. I do love me some motocross boots. The motocross boots with the red trim, oh they look so good. They look so good. They look absolutely magical. So. We're here for gravel. Now, as you can see, the gravel is way over there, just in the background there. So let's just jump out and deal with these puppets. And yes, I've got the hunter. I've got the hunter today. Oh, there's one behind me. Oh, there's quite a few, eh? Oh, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. Wait for this one. Sword. Sword! Sword! Oh, gun, 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 please, gun, please. Woo! Ah, she's a big one. She's a big one. Swords, swords. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> I really do hope we eventually get a better 22 weapon, like uh, an AR or a, or a pistol or something like that. I'd really like to see a 22 AR. That would be a really cool weapon. Right. If it's not in this location, it's probably in the other, uh, the other quarry. But what we're looking for here is uh, green bag. These bags right here. That's what we're after. Let's go get the car. I've got some, uh, I've got some chests in the car as well to help me kind of transport all these things. So we're mostly going to be piling up on the gravel bags because I've found that the gravel bags are quite expensive in terms of upgrading to at least tier 4 and tier 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over here. See these bags right here? Oh, there's one guy right there, huh? Get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. Come on, quick, 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 Oh, God damn it. I shot my, I shot my own car. Right, shut the gates. Uh, is that, yep, that's full of sandbags. 
That is absolutely rife with sandbags. That's also part of the upgrade process, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't think so. I do not think they're behind there. Right, they're dead. Okay, let's quickly uh, sort out the... <laughs> let's sort out this stuff first. God, hurry up. Right. Oh, why will you not go in there? Is that... Is that overburdened? Oh! Oh! Oh, my God, woman! Oh, my trigger finger was happy there. Jesus! Okay, we're playing the game in black and white, it seems, today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my dear Lord. Jeez, oh. She hammered me down to 12%. That's mental. Okay. So, what we're trying to do here is essentially get this back into my into my car. It doesn't seem to want to go back into my car, though, which is a wee bit of an issue. Um, I don't know if it's either to... Oh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't going in. That was weird. That was really strange. Anyway, if this was in colour, these are green and white. Green and white. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop them here. Each one of these piles spawns quite a lot of them. If you're in vanilla, it'll probably only spawn like one or two. Maybe one per three piles or something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to get as many of these as possible. Right, I need to get this out. Uh, back up. And what we're going to do is we'll just shove them in there. Shove them all in there. Until it goes, yep, there we go. We're all filled. We're filled. Okay. Put that in there. Now let's get the hell out of here because this place sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> that could have been the end of me there, ladies and gents. That could have been the end of me. Right, we're going to quickly stack these with ammo. And that's that sorted. Put those in there. Put that. Why will you not go in there? Why will you not go in again? Why will you not do as you're told? Why? Why? Hold on. Right, there we go. Now it's fixed. I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that. Right. Black and white time, ladies and gents. We've got the gravel, uh, gravel bags. Now we need to head to Bravo 1. Let's head for Bravo 1. I killed all those puppets without incident, and then they come round the back and almost take me out. Mental. Absolutely mental. I mean, that's probably down to me, my awareness of... I didn't realise that there was a stone there. Well. <laughs> we're going to continue on this road until... No, we're going to go left. We're going to go up. We need to go up. We need to go up to the, uh, the B sectors. Hopefully there's not a lot of rocks here. There's rocks there. Oh my god! This thing is sliding about today. I don't know if it's the weight distribution or the weight that we've now put in the car. But uh, everything seems to be a wee bit more slidey as well. Oh my god. Right, come on. Come on, get to the... Get to the blooming road, please. Really? Really? It's because I've gone... It's because my screen's black and white. I can't see anything. I sorted that problem out. Connect to that road, and then we take a left. Our first left, and then we connect up to the main road. I didn't even see that stone there either. Oh my god! All over the place here, ladies and gents. All over the place. Nature has it out for me. Right. Left here. Then we connect up to the main road, which will take us right. That's right. And then we continue through the airfield. And then we'll connect up to Bravo 1. Easy peasy. We're only like 10 minutes into the episode and my screen's black and white. I hate this. Oh, this car is so hard to handle now. I don't know why. It must be because of the, the weight. It must be the way. It can't be anything else. That's crazy. Anyway, going back to what I was talking about, the, the motorcycle stuff. 
We're getting helmets, we're getting jackets, we're getting trousers, and we're getting the boots as well. And we're going to look awesome. They're coming in three different colours, black, white, and black and red, I believe. I think we're also getting different types of helmets because we're also getting like those kind of... They look like BMX helmets to me, but I think they're just normal biker helmets. And we're also getting a full face enduro style Bell uh, Moto 9 motocross helmet, which is a full face helmet. Um, I suspect we'll probably get more. I know, f guys, guys, are we forgetting about something? The World War II German helmet is going to be worn as a helmet for these guys who are going to be driving around here on motorbikes. You know fine well people are going to be doing that. You know fine well people are going to be putting on the World War II helmet and they're going to be driving around like the, uh, you know, like Harley, Harley Davidson drivers. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Right. I need to control this car. I really need to control this truck. Control, control, control! I don't want it. I don't want to break it. I don't want to damage it. I don't want to destroy it. Saying that, I've never actually destroyed a vehicle by driving it in this game. So you guys who are saying I'm not a very good driver, I think you'll find I've never destroyed a car whilst driving, and there's no proof of me doing otherwise. You know. <laughs> This is where the comment section will absolutely light up with everybody with like little clips from YouTube and maybe from my, my streams on YouTube as well saying, eh, you killed it here. See this time frame right here on this video? The one that you made public and showed everybody? <laughs> right, stop. We need to go into the airfield. Okay, we're slowly retaining health. Another 9%. And we will eventually have colour back on our screen. So we won't have to worry about that anymore. All this just to upgrade a feckin' wall. Not even a wall, it's a gate. It's just to upgrade a gate. There's our hole right there. Yes. Through we go. Now, I've heard a lot of uh, rumours or a lot of people saying that if they drive too fast, POIs don't load in in time. And sometimes if uh, the POI hasn't fully loaded, you can go through the wall and it will immediately destroy your vehicle. Right, see this place? This is the factory, right? Now, see this wall right here and these little, these little shelters right here? These are all brand new. I don't think it was in the patch notes. But these, this is a new addition to the factory itself. Look. So, that never existed before. This used to be just a flat wall all the way around here. Like, the garages are still here, as you can see. The garages are still there. But this is a completely new addition to the factory. And the good thing about this is it holds all the cement. So, we're just going to move the car a little bit closer. Just to that hole right there. Just here. There we go. Okay. I do need to swap out my uh, my backpack here. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving the, uh, the cement bags to and from this location right here. We can only carry three at a time. But look! These are all cement bags. White and red is cement. Look, one shelter. Two shelters. And here's number three. Here's shelter number three. All loaded with cement bags. And just like the gravel pits or the, the, the gravel bags, you go into a big stack and you can pull out several of them. Again, if you're in a vanilla server, it'll probably be a little bit different. But for a, a five times loot server or five times loot single player, this is how many you'll get. So we're going to carry three at a time. And we're going to move them just to the car, just outside where the car is. Then we'll take our, our box out. So what we'll do is we'll just drag this to the ground. Just like that. And we'll jump back in. Just be just be mindful of that sentry, by the way. He does rotate a lot of the times. He does rotate this, uh, this little corner here. So move these out. Put them into the um into the box. 
and then we make our way to the brick factory, which is where I'm going to show you uh, something that was also not in the patch notes. Je it wasn't in the patch notes, uh, and it also doesn't tell you in game that you can actually do this. Right, we need to be quick. Quick. No! Okay. Right. The unfortunate thing here is when we're carrying these, we can't sprint. So let's just shut that door for a second. And hope that this uh, this sentry does not come in here. He shouldn't be able to come in here, but that's never stopped him before. Especially with uh, solid walls. Okay, he doesn't seem interested. That's fine. He's going to go back to his patrol route. Uh, what, we're, what we are going to do is I'm going to leave that one there. And I'm going to pull one more out. Okay, good. One more. Okay, he's he's away in his patrol route. What we can do here is we can carry four back just by doing this. Observe. We go slow enough that you can actually drag this. So if I drop that one. And I pick that one up. There we go. Drop that there, drop that there, and drop that there. Now we can take this one out. And we can shove all the cement into this one now. There we go. Show me it all. There we go. Nice and full. Now let's just double check all of our... Right, that's... I don't know if the, 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 the stack of bricks are still a 3x3. Three three. I think they might be a 3x3. Three three, or they might be a 2x2. Two two. I think they're a 3x3, three three, which might cause a wee bit of issues here. So put that back in there, put that back in there, put that... Why is that not going back in? Why are you not going back in? Why are you not going back in? I've maybe exceeded the weight capacity for this car. I might have exceeded the weight capacity for this car. Right, let's drop four of these out. Let's see if... Right, that's definitely not going back in. That's going in, and that's going in. Okay, this is awfully strange. What, what if we do this? Right, I think we've met the the weight requirement for this car. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's a wee bit strange the way it's uh, acting right now. But we're going to leave uh, four gravel bags here. Now we're going to go south, and we're going to go to... Or sorry, southeast. We're going to go to B0. We'll go visit the brick factory. So from here we go south. The easiest way is to go south. Connect up to this location right here. Which is the... Hold on, let me just open my map. Without this car going absolutely mental. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to drop into the B1 town. And we're going to follow along this road right here. Or the official road, the yellow road. Which splits off from the south. So the, re the general direction we're going perfectly fine. Okay, we've got a little bit of driving ahead of us, so let's have a little chat. Mostly about the modular building system that's a work in progress right now. Nailed it. But no, um, Tomislav has released uh, information regarding uh, modular building. It is a currently a work in progress. It has no sounds, it has no textures, it has no attributes attached to it. It is just the bare bones of what is essentially a very simple modular system to build, you know, buildings, bases, perimeter walls, etc. So we'll now have, or eventually in the future, hopefully in 0 0.7 or 0 0.8, um, we might have a modular building system to replace uh, the cabins that we can now make right now. Which is both sad and also quite good because a lot of people do ask to to have creativity in building their base. The cabins are essentially just the wooden boxes that we live in. Which is fine, it's perfectly fine, but some people like to say, hey listen, I'd like to have my own wooden cabin, I'd like to design my own wooden cabin. So this modular system is going to grant that. 
and it's also going to make base building a lot more interesting. Purely because we'll now have the ability to custom and design our own bases. We'll have our own base elements that will be either unraidable, uh, impregnable, you know, they'll be essentially built by players who know what they're doing. See, instead of building loads of walls to protect your, your base, now we'll have Honeycomb. I think I'm going to call it right now. The modular system is going to encourage um, honeycomb building designs. Like the ones that we see in Rust, you know, the way that people build their bases in Rust. I think we're going to see a lot of that uh, with this modular building system. Because it's similar in style to Rust's building system, Ark's building system, Atlas's building system, etc. You know? And it opens up a huge avenue for a lot of players who want to make their bases compact as well as defendable. The walls that we've got right now, I think we're keeping them. I think we're genuinely going to keep them. Ouch. I think we're going to have a mixture of modular and the free building walls that we're building right now. You know, the ones that we surround our bases with. I think we're going to be keeping those and I hope we do keep them because uh, this game with those walls is iconic, it's different, it's unique. I think they should keep them, they should definitely keep those walls in this game. Add the modular building system and keep the walls that we, that we know right now because it will allow us to build perimeter walls with like the main base in the very center. And that will genuinely be a proper base. So I think we can search all these piles right here. Let's have a look. Okay, we can search. Right. Does that mean we can search the top one? Oh, we can. We can. We can. Okay, this is excellent. Right, guys, come to the brick factory. Get the bulk amount of uh, bricks that you can. And this is where uh, what I was going to talk about earlier comes into play. So, you guys know that we can stack these. We can actually bundle these in units of six. But did you know that it only takes two uses of a, a, a tree bark rope? Look, so it doesn't really tell you. Item one and item two, it doesn't really tell you how many of this item that you need to use. It tells you how many bricks that you need. But it doesn't tell you how much of the rope that you need. So this is where things get a little bit interesting. Got a tree bark rope right here. Observe what happens, right? 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It only uses two uses of the tree bark rope. Which means you only have to come with like two tree bark rope or one, uh, one full rope. Which is a, I think it's a 50 out of 50 uh, use rope. You could just be here and you could have all the bricks that you need to upgrade your entire base. Bear in mind you're going to need a lot of bricks to obviously upgrade your walls. Like, I'm only aiming for... Uh, I'm only aiming for about 30 bricks, roughly. Okay, so there is a, there is a constraint here. So what we can do is we can do this. <gasps> Major constraints, ladies and gentlemen. Major constraints. Okay. Uh, we're going to drop two sandbag or two cement bags. Okay, that works. That works. That works perfectly. No, don't drive. I don't know why I was driving there. Why? Why? What? Silly game. Silly game. Two more. There we go. And there's our last brick. Bundle of bricks. There we go. Excellent. Okay, that's all the items that we need to upgrade our walls now. Or upgrade at least the front part of the walls. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What is going on here? Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh. I wonder why it's doing that. What if I... Oh, we can do that. Yeah, we can do... Right, okay, this is weird. This is very strange. 
Right, we're going to keep the backpack on because this backpack has the remainder of the bricks and we're not going to really shoot anything at this point. So I think it's time to head home. Let's head home and upgrade the uh, upgrade the walls. I think we're going to need a wee bit more items as well. We will have to scavenge a little bit. Uh, scavenge the base a little bit for the remainder of the items that we need. But I think everything should be there. Should be there. Those puppets just spawned in. That was very lucky. Right, we're back to 45% health as well, which is good, up to 46%. That's even better. Right, the control of the car seems to be back. It seems to be a wee bit strange. I don't know what was going on for the whole time there. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Turning circle on this vehicle is shit. Turns like a blooming boat. That's why we've got drifting though. That's why we've got drifting. But the modular building system is going to make this game a lot more interesting. I think people who are going to be playing PvE are going to enjoy it a lot more. They're going to be able to design their own bases. They're going to have fun in PvE. The people in PvP are going to have a lot more fun as well because they're going to be able to blow up multiple, multiple modules of a modular building which means bigger destruction and, you know, more uh, more satis satisfying destruction, if you know what I mean. So that's going to be a big thing to this game. Oh boy, I can't... I, I, I'm just, I just can't wait for the motorbikes, guys. I can't wait for the motorbikes. Because we're going to have a driver and a passenger and they're going to have their own little helmets and it's going to look so cool. And they're going to have their little biker outfits. It's going to look so cute. It's going to be so cool. I'm overjoyed that this game is getting the love that it's getting, man. I'd like to see more players in it, though. I'd like to see more players in this game. Because there's a lot you can do in this game now. Like, you can fight. You can PvE. You can create your own, like... Like, dude, you can create your own story in this game. Like, this single player series? This is me just playing the game. On a Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday afternoon. Recording it and get, giving it to you guys to just show you what you can actually do in this game. Maybe not die as much as me. And maybe not, uh, you know, roll cars as much as me. But, you still get to see the game. Like, people who have never played this game before. Or maybe are conscious of getting it, or they're not sure that if they want to buy it. At least they can see that there's a single player side to this game. And that they can learn, they can kind of teach themselves the game without getting absolutely destroyed. There's a nice little red vehicle right there, a red truck. But at least they can see the single player side of this game, and they can learn the game at their own pace. They don't have to jump into a multiplayer environment to learn the game they can just jump into a single player game which is handy because you can not only can you test things in single player you can kind of you can experiment with your, your your player builds you can experiment with like how you build your own bases you can experiment with like the destruction there's a lot of things that you can use single player for and it, it allows you to to better yourself when it comes to multiplayer which is a big thing Oh, look, we got our colour back on our screen. Oh, yes, 50% and it's nice and vibrant. Lovely. Right. Don't roll the car. Don't crash the car. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're all right. We're all good. <laughs> right. Another thing that the... that the tier 4 and 5 walls gave us is tier 4 walls. Or, sorry, it's of course we're at tier 4 walls. Tier 4 doors. Did you guys know about that? We now have a fourth level of door. So we've got the wooden door. We've got the wooden mixed with metal door. We've got the full metal door. And now we've got a reinforced blast door style uh, tier 4 door. That we can place on our bases now. Single doors and double doors. Oh! Oops. Whoops. That was a whoopsie by me. 
I don't think I've got any repair kits as well, which is a wee bit problematic. We just passed a garage there that we could... I mean, should we go back to get a repair? Should we go back and get a repair? No, we shouldn't because we're already stacked. We're already stacked on items. I don't think we need any more in this car. Ooh. Now, another thing that I want to bring up, and this was a, this was an up, or at least a teaser, or a, a work in progress, or even, you know, a leak from the developers, especially Thomas Love, um, is the new vehicle maintenance system. Now, if you've not seen this, you can go away to Thomas Love's Twitter handle. I'll put that in the description below. You can go give him a follow. And while you're at it, give me a follow, please, because I'm almost at 1,000 followers on Twitter. <laughs> I'm joking. But uh, go follow Thomas Love, because he does release a lot of interesting things, especially work in progress and the way that they think about uh, certain things like the new metabolism system, which is still a work in progress as well. It's still been worked on. I don't think we'll see that in 0 0.6. We might see it in 0 0.7. Um, don't quote me on that. They might release it in 0 0.6. But I, I again, I, I only know as much as you guys know. However, speaking about Thomas Love's leaks and posts, you should go check out his Twitter because that's where he does most of the leaking, most of the posting, most of the teasing of these items. Um, one thing that fascinated me was the... Uh, the metabolism system, which relates to the health system, the way that you treat yourself. He brought up a really specific, uh, a really specific set of attributes or spe specific amount of details uh, regarding players who don't wear boots or wear, wear anything on their feet. Those players will now be susceptible to, for example, ankle sprains. Um, cuts on their feet which could lead to infection those infections could potentially kill a player there's a lot of puppets there's a lot of puppets here god Chew. die <laughs> but that information is really interesting because it's not it's not like graphs and things like that it's just him writing down or discussing or at least debating how uh, these things should work against your scum player or your scum character we saw all the muscle groups as well that can be affected even your genitals which led me to post about you know you know whoa Jesus <laughs> about you know potential you know genital <coughs> quote unquote destruction as you know, Sniper Elite has the ability for you to see the bullet passing through your enemies and one specific x-ray or at least, you know, peel back of the skin is the testicles getting shot. Now, <laughs> I kind of joked about this, but I think it's going to be in the game. I think, um, you know, potential wounds to your genitals, to your chest, to, your, to certain muscle groups are going to be a big thing in this game. So, right, we're also back home, which means we can break out all the upgraded uh, components. Right, well, let's jump out. But that's a big thing. The metabolism system is going to bring out a lot of cool things. Right, let's get all these things placed down. Let's get all these things taken out as well. Take out four of these. Four of these. And four of these. And what we'll do is we will hammer them all in. Okay, so we need the bricks. So we need to actually... Oh my god, look at them stacked. That's kind of funny. Right, let's uncraft these. So we only need three units of the bricks. Because it's only 16 bricks that we need. Uncraft. Okay, so I don't have a toolbox on me, and I don't have bolts, and I believe everything else is inside the base. So what I can do here is, even though I've kind of locked myself out, I've not actually locked myself out. Uh, what I can do is I can move the car up here. Oh no. 
We'll park it against it like this, so I can actually get out of my, out of my car. There we go. And what I'll do as well, is I'll quickly equip this and put that back in there. Jump up here, jump up here. And the good thing is I've got a, a ledge right there that I can use as well. So we need three bolts. So we've got some a box of bolts here. And we need barbed wire. Now we can make barbed wire. We can in fact, in fact make barbed wire. Now let me just quickly go through some of this stuff here. Make sure that we've not got any barbed wire to hand. We might have some inside. Barbed wire, barbed wire, barbed wire. Uh, barbed wire. I think we need three of these. Three barbed wire. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just... Oh, wait a minute. There's our bolts. Oh. So we need... Uh, what do we need now? Toolbox. We need a toolbox. Toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Right. Toolbox... And we need a blunt item. Specifically this. Let's upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. And three, two, one. There we go. Brick walls, ladies and gentlemen. Brick walls. <laughs> Check that out. That's really cool. I mean, there's a little gap there. That'll do my head in. But that's pretty cool. So let's just see what we need to upgrade this with. So we need metal... Okay, so we need a few more things here. Um, so we're going to be upgrading to a level 4 door. So let's just see if we can do it. So we need the bolts again. We need bolts. Uh, bolts. There we go. And it seems like we need a lot of metal as well. We need 23 bits of metal. Right, let's get the rest of these bolts out of here. How many was it? Right, so we need nine. Need nine. Five. Three. Two. One. Okay, that's them sorted. So we need more uses of a toolbox. Toolbox, toolbox. Do we have a toolbox in here? Uh, no. We may have one out here, though. Toolbox, 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 toolbox. Aha! Toolbox. That might not be enough, though. That might not be enough. We're going to take that as well and repair the car, repair the car a wee bit. Uh, we're going to take this. Uh, that seems to be it. Yeet! Uh, metal. Let's just see if we've got any metal to hand here. Uh, if we don't, we can just go out and find some. We've got plenty of time to do that. Right, metal, 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 metal. Now, metal run means that we need to go to a half-decent location. There's got plenty of cars, plenty of destroyed cars. There's one bit. Any more, any more, any more? I don't see any more. We may have to go looking. We might have to go looking. Right, it looks as though we need to go looking. Okay, so we need 22. So we need to go find some metal, ladies and gentlemen. I know the perfect location. I know the perfect location. And it's actually really close by. It's this place right here. There's plenty of destroyed vehicles there that we can uh, make use of. So let's just throw all this stuff in here as well. Uh, can we just put you in there? Okay. Uh, we'll leave that. What is that? We'll just leave that there, actually. Just leave that there. Uh, is one of these empty? Partially empty? Okay, he's partially empty. That's good. Right, we'll take him with us. Put that in there. Uh, put that in there. Okay. Right. Let's go do a, a run for metal. Let's go get that metal. So we need 22. So we're going to go south. We're going to go to the B3. I think it's the military or oh, what's it called the barracks sorry we're gonna go to the barracks we'll get some metal 
We could go to the we could go to C3 Town, but I don't think there's a lot of destroyed vehicles there. Come on, there we go. Control. Control, control, control. There we go. So we're heading south, directly south now. So head for the barracks. We'll go through that location. Find as many bits of metal as possible. And then we'll be back to upgrade our... Whoa! <laughs> also, by the way, the way that you get uh, the the bags of sand, you just you simply get a, a an empty bag, an empty burlap bag, and you fill it with you fill it with dirt. You need a shovel as well. You do need a shovel. Oh Jesus, there's a lot of bad guys here. Oh, a lot on the outside as well. Right, we're going to swap to the assault. Not the assault, the hiking backpack. Die! Okay, we're going to swap to this. And just take everything that we need with us. That should be enough space for 23 uh, units of metal. Oh, it was just, it was the it was the the what you call it? What you call it? What what the hell do you call it? The airdrop, the airdrop. That's what you call it. Get them all in one location. Get them all in one location. Bonk. How did you not see me? How did he not see? How did she not see me? What was that? Four bullets is not enough for this. I need an AR version of this. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. There we go. There we go. If I can keep him in that little corner right there. Man, he's moving around a lot. Oh. Lord. Sorry, I'm really, really concentrated with these stupid zombies. <laughs> right, fine. Ah. 
Okay, okay. Now we're done. Now we're safe. Oh. Check ammo, please. Four out of four. Cool. Get him to move at least. Oh, what? Right, healing time. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, take care of bandage. Quick. <laughs> Quick. Quick. Bandage. Oh. Jeez, oh. All this to get metal. All this just to get metal. What a laugh. Oh boy, did you, did, you couldn't, I couldn't say anything, I couldn't even speak, I was so zoned, I was so concentrated, I wanted to kill them. Uh oh. oh. Don't you dare. Yep, that's what we need. How? How do you see me? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I get caught in the I get caught in the tank trap. I got caught in the tank trap. That was a whoopsie. I mean at least I cleared them all out, right? Oh my god, where am I? Oh I'm ages away. I'm eight right, we need to go west. Right, guys, I'm gonna quickly phase in and out here, so see you in just a second, okay? Oh boy. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> let's get our stuff. Oh, let's get our stuff. God damn it. I bet you the puppets have respawned as well. Let's hope there's a, a, a little... Oh, there's a toy in here. That's not good. Ooh. Oh, don't stop there. Right, we need to quickly grab our stuff. I think we're right there. Yeah, we're right there, look. Just have to be slow and calculated here. Stay low here. He shouldn't see me. He'll spot me now. Right, let's stay in here. He shouldn't be able to see me here. I should be in cover. I should be in hard cover here. He shouldn't be able to see me here. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I'll let him move up there and then move back round again. One quick, 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 quick. Oh Christ! Right, we got our stuff. Let's get out.
Oh, right under your nose, too. <laughs> Loser! Loser! Get that out of there as well. Oh, door, door. Metal. No metal. Right, no metal in here either. Okay. We need to find another good location for it. Oh my god! Way out. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, how much uh, metal have we got? We've got two, four, six, seven. Seven bits of metal. Uh, we could do better than that. We can do better than that. Right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Right, where else can we go? Where else can we go? There's a bunker up here that we can go to. I really want to get this metal. The only good location for metal that I find is the city. Or the, uh, the B1 town. Is there any vehicles that are destroyed up here? I don't think there is. Nah, there won't be any metal in there. Probably inside the bunker, but not in not in the outskirts of that uh, that area there. We could go there. We could go to the airfield. Any dead vehicles over here? Oh, nose tapped that. Any dead vehicles over here? There should be one over here. I was completely wrong, there's none. Huh. Oh no. Oh no, I was wrong, I was wrong. I'll check in this building though. I'll check in this building, this building's usually got metal in it. I really want to get this door. I really want to get this door, I really want to show you. Right, metal. Thread. Metal. Hat. Metal. Uh. Not metal. No metal. God damn it. Wait. No metal. Metal? No metal. Okay. Seems like we're going into town for it. Let's go into the town. Let's go into the... Let's go into B3 town. See if we can get ourselves some metal. All this for metal? We need 22 metal in total. I knew, I knew I should have stocked up on metal way before. Like, see all, see all these episodes? I keep thinking to myself, you should go and stock up on, like, stuff that you might need in the episode. And then I think, nah, I'll be able to find it, no problem. I'll be able to find it in the episode. It'll be totally fine. And then it comes to the episode, and I'm like, oh, I can't find anything. <laughs> or I've used up all the metal that I'm that I've at least farmed up, at least, in the previous episode. I've used it all. And it's like, ah, oh, crud. I'm alright. We're all good. It's alright, we're good. Admit it, that was kinda, that was kinda cool. That was kinda cool. There should be some destroyed vehicles down here. somewhere there's a couple of vehicles there with the horde die right out 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 Die. No, I threw my... Huh?
Huh? Huh? What? What is going on? Oh, right. No. What is going on? There was supposed to be four bullets in this. Right, dead. Dead. Not dead. Reload, quick. Reload, quick. We need to get this metal. Where did I throw my sword? Where are they coming from? Miss. Oh my god, there's so many. Lord, please. Oh, really? Psycho bolt, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'm sticking to the I'm sticking for the pistol. I know I'm bleeding as well. Right, metal, 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 metal. We need metal. Right, I need to patch. I do need to patch. God! You can't win in this game, man. You can't win. Especially in my save. In my single player. You can't win. I don't know how I had all those frag grenades in my inventory and I've just lost them all. Oh no, it's doing that. It's doing that thing. Oops. Oh, it's not. That's not good. Metal, 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 metal. Metal, 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 metal. Wait, that was metal. That was also metal. I just saw metal there. Right, cool. Metal. Oh dear, not good. Oh my god. <laughs> it gets worse every time I play it. Psycho Bolt. God, I don't have enough metal for this. I certainly don't have enough bullets for all this as well. Right, check in here. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, that's good. Nope. Metal, 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 metal. Come on. Oh! Metal! Somebody say Slayer in chat. <laughs> oh, this is infuriating. The one time I need metal and I've got absolutely none. I mean, I'm probably missing a lot of metal, but... Metal doesn't really spawn in these locations all that much. Not at least in these locations. Mobile phone. I need somewhere that's got vehicles in it. Come 
Come on, metal. Give me metal. Of all the things that I need right now, it's metal. Come on. Oh. Oh-ho! Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. We've got fifth. Whoa! Madam, you took a hit to the head there. That's the bar. This is the place we need to be. Yes. Come on. That's good. Uh, not so good. Not so good. This should be the place that we need to be. That's another good bit. Yep. Oh. Sir, you took two twenty-two to the head there. How are you not dead? Check here. Rubber. That's good and bad. Oh, we might have it. We might have it. Right. We need 22. So that's 15. We need one more. <gasps> no, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've officially got it. We've got it. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. I've lost my sword. I threw it somewhere. It's somewhere in the abyss. Same with those frag grenades. Those frag grenades just went to the abyss. No idea where they went. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home. Oh my dear lord, that was nutty. That was nutty. <laughs> I managed to clear them though with that hunter, right? I did pretty well with that, right? If only I could actually shoot players like that, that'd be... That'd make life a lot easier for me. I could be a destructive force. <laughs> I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. I like to cooperate with players more than shoot them. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's fun playing PvP servers. But at the same time, I like to cooperate with them. I like to talk to people. Okay, let's go. Oh my dear lord, let's go build a, a brand new door. All this for a brand new door. <laughs> oh boy, you know what I'm going to be doing after this episode? I'm going to be ordering in a Greek takeaway today. I'm going to get some uh, chicken heroes with some chips, some nice paprika chips, a nice uh, a nice Greek salad, maybe some of those Greek sauces that they, that they usually have with their, their heroes. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Oh, I can't wait for it. I'm so happy. <laughs> or I could just make some beans and toast. I won't lie. And my friends in the UK will understand. I could live on beans and toast. It's so good. I don't... I, like, anyone in America, if you can get your hands on, like, some nice brown bread, you know, some Heinz beans, it has to be Heinz, it can't be anything else, it has to be Heinz, right, and you get some light mature cheddar, right, warm up the beans till they're roasty toasty, like really warm, toast the bread, lightly butter it, right, or heavily butter it, if you, whatever way you like your, your toast, uh, cut it into little soldiers or into little squares, right, <gasps> no! Oh my god! 
I've heard the stories of people going inside V and in, in, inside um inside buildings like that when they've not rendered in and they and they've literally just died. The vehicle gets destroyed, they die as well, they lose all their items because it's not rendered in. I had a heart attack there. Oh <laughs> And here I'm talking about beans and toast or a cheesy beano. Oh my god. Oh I'm lightheaded from that. I'm lightheaded from that. Oh my. Oh. Did you hear the fear in my voice? Yes, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Look at the brand new door. Oh, right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go off. That is today's episode. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up on this video. If you have enjoyed it, leave a comment down in the comment section. Do you guys like cheesy beanos or peas and toast? Oh my god! Oh, my head is so lightheaded. If you've enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing to the channel, ring the little bell, you'll stay up to date with episodes just like this, as well as other episodes on things like uh, Days Gone, as well as Sunday Night Streams. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like the look of the new walls and the new doors in this game, as well as the new items. I'm going to go have a chill-out session and calm myself down. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I've been Mr. Fudo, I'll see you all another time.